All righty. We're going to work on a cannon here, y'all. This is something that no is a little project All right. we're doing for the 4th right of July. And we have the, the barrel itself off the cradle. We're going to have to modify some things to make it work. Now we just finished drilling our hole for the for our uh, to put our fuse into to get the cannon to go boom. We'll see what it looks like here. We've got a cotton picking heavy barrel in this rascal. Give you an idea what what it looks like there. All righty, we're still working on the cannon now. We've got <laughs> our... <laughs> Something I always wanted to do. Yeah, really. <laughs> There's our hole for the fuse to fit into. We touch hole, the touch the hole. The touch hole, is that what you call a touch hole? Touch okay, hole. that's cool. Or vent. We still have to, have to do a little modification to it. We're gonna make it work. We're gonna go try it here in a few minutes and see what happens on the 4th of July for our signal cannon. Yep, no doubt. Man, that's looking good, good gracious. It is looking good. All right, let's go give her a shot, see what happens. All righty, we're putting our, putting some gunpowder in the touch hole. We're gonna, we're, we're, hey Don, what we're doing is we're getting powder in the, in the touch hole, and we're gonna test that before we put a charge in the barrel. Oh, okay. That makes sense? Yes. Ooh, boy, it took all that. This was a good way to do it, by the way. Hmm. Oh. You want to call me back when you're ready to shoot? Well, we're almost ready. Shit, I, I can't oh, okay. believe it took that much. And we just put some... We're, we're, we're putting more in the touch hole 120 now. 120 grains because... in the barrel. And more in the touch hole now to fill it up. We put 120 in the barrel. Okay. That's my usual hunting load with okay. my 50 caliber John Braxton. And what caliber would you call this? How large is it? 0.92. Almost an inch. Yeah. What, what, what caliber is one inch bore diameter, Don? I'm sorry, what? What caliber <laughs> is one inch bore diameter? Four. Four bore. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We this got off. that from Don Kettlecamp, expert. That's it. It's awful close. Yeah. <laughs> I'd say our touch hole is absolutely damn full. <laughs> All right. We got this there, we got that there. Rick Barber, he's gonna officiate at my funeral. <laughs> Let's see, where's the fire? Right and there. Al's gonna stick the fire to it. We we'll got see what a, happens. a little overbore. What do we have? Uh, 135 thousandths on the, on the uh, vent, on the, on the touch hole? Yes, exactly. All right, and yeah, okay. Yep. Amen, God bless, pass the ammunition. Can't, hasn't happened yet. We may have. <laughs> yeah, hey, it works. Hey, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, cool. Yeah, a uh, a good cannon fuse would make a big difference, I believe. Oh It'll yeah, be a little yeah, more, yeah. little yeah. more tolerable here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we we shot it once. Now we're going to load it again. And. Uh, I don't know where the hell our wad went. It should be around here somewhere. You don't think it burned up? Uh, it should have been, been blown out. Okay. It should have been blown out. You know, I'm, I'm going to have to make a... Uh, right in there. Okay. okay. Here we go. This is part of the cannonade team here. Okay. 120 grains of black powder. Yep. I always check that. All right. We tamper down. Yeah, we tamper down with the big one. Get the, <laughs> yeah, oh, no. You gotta have two. You gotta it's have the tamper. A little tighter here. Yeah. Crack her down good. There we go. Yeah. Put a wad in there. Hold Can on. you imagine, guys, if you were back in the 1700s? And <laughs> We'd be overrun. We'd be overrun by the enemy. And trying to do this. <laughs> good thing this is a signal cannon, right? <laughs> we're going to signal we need help. <laughs> okay. All right, coming down. Coming down. 
That's a good chunk of I brass. I think we can try it. What do you think? Let's try it without the band on it. Okay. I don't All think right. we need that. We're going to take the strap off now. We were concerned about if it would move or not, but I yeah. believe we're we're safe in that part. I think so. Okay. Now we're going to... We should have 3F or 4F. This is 1.5F. This is, this is a coarse powder. This is really for the barrel. With my... Uh, here we go. You gotta have your tool. Yeah, we'd be overrun. The Indians would have our scalps by now. <laughs> With a little bit of training. <laughs> this is a first for uh, for me, for sure. I've not played with a cannon before. Yeah, I've only done it once other time. This is going to be a big hit tomorrow, so to speak. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it all depends on what I try to shoot at the end of it. Yeah, really. Now, if you guys are watching the video, this is July the 3rd. It's late Sunday afternoon. We've been working this thing this 2022. afternoon. 2022. Yeah, 2022. from the future. Exactly. <laughs> sees this. <laughs> this, is, this is for the graveside ceremony now. <laughs> we plan on having this available to shoot on July the 4th, tomorrow. Correct. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, we need we need a we're gonna have to work on that as to how we do this in the yep, future. It'll get better. We don't have any cannon fuse right now, but we'll have some soon. Alright. You wanna record it? I'll set it off. Uh are you gonna hold it? Yep, I'll do that. Alright, this is round two. Set it off. Right, round two the cannon which we hope is going to stay in one place here. Damn you. Uh oh We don't have enough powder on top. Yeah, we could plenty of powder. This Same stuff just doesn't it. ignite as quickly. Wow. Mm, we have to put a wick in it. We have to do what? Put a wick on it. Yeah. Might have to do it right now. Damn. Did we brush too much powder off the top? Huh? Did we brush too much powder off the top of Let's it? Start another video. Yeah. <sighs> maybe try to pile, maybe leave it piled up just a little bit. Oh, maybe. It's down in the hole a little bit. Yeah. That that that'll do it. Well, it only takes a couple of grains just yeah, to exactly to get, get it going. above the hole. Good idea. That's why you're part of the team, man. <laughs> Yeah, just leave it like that. Because right it's, it's just going to flash anyway. Yeah. Okay. I say we're going to have success this time. Okay. Hold Are on we minute. ready? Wait a minute. Got to get back, get back to your camera. Yeah. To, you got to have the yeah video. Here it is. Camera. Video. Okay. Now I got the video. All right. All Round right. two. Recording. We decided we had to have a little bit of powder for flash to get down that uh, vent hole. Yep. Round two, 120 grains, 3F. Oh, yes! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it works! <laughs> That's the way to do it. That's cool. <laughs> All right. Cool. There you go. That's about a, about huh? a 20 second video. Speed. How old is this cannon? As far as old, I have no idea. It's just old. Just no idea. Old. There's no identification marks on it. It's a one of a kind. As soon as I it's looked at thing. it and saw it, I, I knew we could do this. Yeah. You know? it, it's, this was not a production fireable cannon. We've, we've, uh, until today. Until today. We drilled some holes in it and uh, made it work. <laughs> With the enemy on the, on the rise, you can't be too careful with such. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Oh, Lord. That's cool.
Thank you, Rick, for coming out on a Sunday and doing this. All right. All right. How much? Oh yeah. Let me. This is yours. Are we finished? Yep, we're done. That's all we're gonna do, huh? Okay. You want to take a picture of it with the camera? Yes. Yeah. Let's get a picture of the.